So let me give you some solid advice on how to do your on-page optimization. Now, again, these are just the rules of thumb, no magic formula. Take what I'm gonna give you here, apply it to your own websites, and don't get too caught up in the details. The first thing that you need to know, and we'll go into keyword selection in more detail in another presentation, but you need to understand that for each page, each page should only be optimized for one keyword, maybe two keywords. A lot of people, what they'll do is, and I've seen it time and time again, they'll try and have one page go after you know 10 different phrases. What ultimately ends up happening there is you confuse Google as to what that page is about, especially if they're you know on a variety of topics, like if we're talking you know like golf balls, golf clubs, golf swing. If you tried to optimize the one page for each of those three keywords, it would be difficult for Google to know, well, which which is he trying to, what's this page about? Is it about golf balls or is it about golf swing or, or whatever? So you wanna make sure that you choose one keyword and optimize one keyword per page. Um, you can do variations of that keyword and it's, it's what I suggest. You might do something like, um, let's say if you're going after uh, trading systems, uh, for example, because that's what I've done for the free trading systems.org, you might have trading systems as your primary keyword, and then the variations of that, which I'll call the secondary keywords, could be things like trading system or um, uh, uh, trading. Uh, trading plans possibly because I mean there's some slight correlation there and that's me knowing the market but again you don't want to go too far away from what it is that that original primary keyword is trying to optimize for. Now once you've picked your keyword you need to make sure that that keyword occurs in the correct places throughout your website. You want to make sure that it appears in your title, your meta descriptions, your meta keywords, a few times in the content on the website. And I'll also talk about some HTML tags, that H1 tag and bold and italics and things like that. And then also try and have the keyword in the URL if possible. Let's jump over to the uh, website here and I'm going to talk you through the optimization for this page. So let's just uh, perhaps choose one of the pages here. Okay, so this particular page, the keyword that we're trying to optimize for is trading goals. And let's go view page source, and you can do this in any browser. And we can have a look a little bit of the back end code, and then we'll jump back to the, the front end, because I don't want to you know, give you too much gobbledygook. If you're not too sure about this, pass it on to your uh, web designer and talk him through or show him this part of the video and he'll understand. Firstly, the title tag is important. Now, I think Google says, or you can have about 64 characters long. Typically, for the title tag, I like to have probably around five or six key, uh, five or six words. I don't really like to go much more than that. And I like to weight the keyword towards the front of the title where possible. So in this example, I've got trading goals sort of up near the front. It doesn't really matter. And this is that idea of um, as long as you have the keyword in that title tag, you're going to be right. And you don't want a formula that you copy every time. So maybe you put it at the front sometimes. Maybe you put it in the middle. Sometimes you put it at the end. You can sort of mix it up a little bit. But I've got trading goals. Um, make them to make money. So like, you, you want to incorporate in... Uh, some good copywriting as well, thinking in terms of what would appeal to a user because the title tag is actually what ultimately ends up in the search engines when you type a particular keyword. And, and I'll show you that in a moment. But you want to make sure that you have the keyword in the title. The next area you want to focus on are these two here. We've got the meta description and the, the meta keywords. Now the meta description, again, you wanna have the keyword in there. You should probably, you should at least have it once. Twice is okay, three times is okay. Any more than three and I'll probably say you're starting to spam it. Um, you get about 160 characters or thereabouts to work with, so it's a couple of sentences long. Uh, again, this appears in the search engine results, so it's important to make sure that you make it as attractive as possible from a, a copywriting point of view to increase your conversion rate. Then we've got the keywords. You can see the, the primary keyword I'm going after here is trading goals. Now, I talked about those secondary keywords, the variations on that primary, and we've got here trade goal and trade 
goals. Now there are slight variations on that primary word, and and that's what I was talking about. Where you know we're, we're very specifically targeting a keyword for Google, and we're not confusing it by throwing in a whole host of other keywords. Each page should optimize for one and a couple of variations on. So uh, those are some things you need to take note of there. The next thing you want to have a look at is on the actual page itself. I suggest you have at least a minimum of 300 words content on a page. Any less than that, and you're probably not giving Google enough to sink their teeth into. You also want to um, put the keyword, if you can, into an H1 tag. Again, that's probably something that you want to pass over to your web guy if you're not sure. But this is an H1 tag. It's just a heading tag, and it basically draws Google to uh, this particular line of text and says, hey, this is more important. It's a heading. So when you have your keyword in there, it's like you're saying to Google, the keyword is more important because I've put it in an, an H1 tag.